it's probably a toss-up whether I like biking in Percy Warner Park versus hiking in Percy Warner Park the most. But the red and the white trail in Percy Warner Park and then the blue trail over in Edwin Warner Park. Very fun. Great trails right in the middle of the city. One time in 2016 for July 4th, July 4th, we did the red, white, and blue trail all together. Very fun. It's halfway through our hike. We're a little over halfway and got rained on. We've done these trails tons of times. So if you start at the Bell Mead entrance, the shorter of the trails is the white trail. Then you can loop straight into the red trail, which is the longest of all the trails. And then if you want to cross, you can use the Candy Cane Connector Trail. And you can cross over into Edwin Warner and continue a loop. There's several trails over there. And then if, you, if the trails are muddy and you need to stay on the asphalt like it is often in the winter, um, I hike the 5.8 mile loop and you can do the 11.2 mile loop and it's all asphalt. Christmas Eve. Too cold to bike. Too wet to hike on the trail. So I'm doing the 5.8 mile loop. Solitude. I like it. 5.8 mile loop. What makes it 11.2? You take a longer loop and you can do 11.2. So today I'm testing out my backpack. We're gonna go up this road and then up the back side of that ridge. We're gonna be hiking up a ridge. Uh -huh. Emily, okay. Emily was making fun of me for one of my videos where I was talking about hiking on ridges. Oh Maybe more than one of my videos. So you got the five point, so we just came up that giant hill. You got the 5.8 mile loop and we're gonna go that way to stay on it. You can go this way and it makes an 11.2 mile loop and that's where a bike that's where when I bike I go that way and you can do an 11.2 mile there's also another little loop you can do and double back on yourself and make it 14ish bike riding and basically none of that is on the road you cross a main road once and the rest of the time you're on except for the 11.2 mile part of it there's traffic there could be a car but it's like park traffic going five miles an hour. So you can do a 35 mile, very hilly bike ride on a road bike, because it's asphalt. It's just a lot of grinding miles. But Percy Warner's awesome for that very reason. That's why it's my favorite park. So I would have to say probably my most favorite thing to do in the Warner Park system and Percy Warner Park particularly is bike. In 2016, I probably did several thousand miles. I, I, I crossed the 2,000 mile mark in Percy Warner for the year. And most of those 2,000 miles were done in Percy Warner Park. I actually set out one day to do every single road in Percy Warner Park and Edwin Warner Park and then the Harpeth River Greenway and it was 45 miles. Max and I are bike riding. We made it to the top. We are 5.6 miles in. Now I'm going to take a picture. Alright, so I was up in the park the other day, this weekend, in a clearing much like this and uh, saw something pretty creepy. It's Halloween night, back in the woods tonight. Just kind of freaking me out a little bit. So I was riding my bike, came out of the woods into an opening like this and um, was listening to Katy Perry fireworks. You know, she's singing about the plastic bag floating in the wind, changing directions again. Uh, came out of the woods really quickly, saw something really creepy, been seeing a lot of clowns, you know, on the news and stuff. Um, so as she says, 
plastic bag floating in the wind, came out of the woods, saw a plastic bag floating in the wind. Yeah. So I'm on Bell Me Boulevard. I've not done this ride in a long time. I'm gonna do Percy Warner. But I've not done it in a few years. I've got to get my bike legs back underneath me. So you ride on Bell Me Boulevard and at the end of Bell Me Boulevard you hit Percy Warner Park. It's a great place to go for a ride. I've done it tons of times. So I'm gonna do it again today and it's gonna be painful. So, there's lots of downhill, and there's lots and lots of uphill, like this one. So that's the Deep Wells entrance. As you ride on this, you'll hit, you'll cross like running trails and walking trails. So the red and the white start here. They run up from Deep Wells. You'll also constantly meet people that are lost because they don't know where they are and how to get back, so you have to help them. But this is a pretty popular trail. It goes up there, red goes that way, white goes that way. I usually wouldn't stop here, but I did today because I'm in pretty bad shape. So that where I just stopped the time lapse was that you can choose to go either 5.8, you can hang a left there, and it takes you back to the front of the park. You can go the way I'm going to go today. I'm actually feeling decent. That hill was kind of, that hill is a steep hill. It's one of the steepest ones in the place as far as on this on this loop. And there's one more at the back side if you do the 11 mile 11.2 mile loop that's pretty darn steep as well. But I normally would not stop here and I would just keep going past where I'm at right now on the 11.2. And then there's another little loop you can add in back near Steeplechase where you can make it probably a 13 or 14 mile loop where you double back on yourself a little bit. And then once I get good at that, uh, back when I was riding a lot, I would then cross the road over into Edwin Warner and I would ride the loops over there. And then once I got good at that, and I would cross out of Edwin Warner and get on the Harpeth Greenway and go all the way out to Bellevue, which is where I live now. So I've done videos on the Harpeth Greenway, which is awesome. And I've done a video on Edwin Warner, which is our second favorite park in Nashville. And I'm in Percy Warner today. This is my favorite park in Nashville uh, by far. If nothing else, just to bike on this road, most of this five, all the 5.8 mile loop is closed to traffic. And nobody's ever on this 11.2 mile loop either, hardly. Um, and it's very hilly. So if you like to do hills on a, on a bike, this is the place to do it. And plus, if you stop here, you get to look at this. So this is the backside steeplechase. This is kind of as far back as you come in Percy Warner. And then you can take this loop. And also right back there, we see tons of owls in Percy Warner. I've got some footage of that. He's big. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, here he goes. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, he was huge. Two owls are talking. Barking. Wow. Did you see how big that thing was? You don't see that giant oh my owl? Gosh, he's very low. 
low? Why is it so low? Seems a little mad. I will be getting talked to him. He looks great. All right, two owls. One's right here. The other one's right there. And they're talking to each other. Oh crap. Oh crap, don't get him. He gone. Make eye contact. There's a pearl. I don't like it when he's out in the open. And back on the 5.8. Time for a big hill. Not this one. So after you get back on the 5.8 mile loop, you come up that little road, and then you wind up going up this giant hill. And then right behind me, at that picnic table, and that trash can, <laughs> this is the place where I've seen the coolest piece of nature I've ever seen. I've seen tons of snakes out hiking. I've seen... In, in Percy Warner, I've seen little bobcats, seen tons of owls, which you just saw. I've never seen, I've seen tons of snakes. I've never seen a real live poisonous snake, big one. And I did right here one day. I was coming up this road, and right there in the middle of the road was a big rattlesnake. And I've got video of that. That's a rattlesnake, and a pretty decent sized one, and I got within about five feet of it before I stopped. So I'm glad about that. All right, so I guess I'll turn around and go the other way. I mean, this was a big hill anyway. It's the biggest hill of the day. So, I mean, I didn't want to go up that anyway, but especially with... Um, Rattlesnake venom <laughs> going through me. So I thought I would, since I was tired, before I go up this giant hill, which winds up way up there, I um, thought I would take a break, catch a breath, and tell you that story. Legend has it that he's eaten most small children that eat at this picnic table. But I mean, don't let that worry you or anything. Not terrible for not doing it in several years. 
Percy Warner, those loops, walking, running, biking, it's perfect. 85 degrees out and shady on most of it. Makes a big difference. Better than riding out in the open sun. Hopefully Mr. Justin got him a deer this morning. Because I got me one. And I didn't have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. That looks like an 8-pointer. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. Mainly because all I have is a bicycle. 8-pointer. How do you know? Because I can count. You can't see the ones on the back. And do the ones on the forehead count? I don't know. He's a big guy. I'm going to storm him right now. Do you have wrestle. your deer urine on? I'm going to wrestle him to the ground. Because he's looking as if he wants to eat. He's not liking me though. That's all right. I don't like you either. So Percy Warner mountain biking. Now there's a golf. This is kind of you park here to play golf, but in the same parking lot there's the mountain bike trail head and you can also hike at, you can park at Deep Wells as well, which is at the other end. So today I'm going to do three of the trails. I'm not going to do the hard trails because all I do is push my bike on those up anyway. And that's no fun. So I'm going to do three of the more intermediate trails. came around that corner and I saw those rocks and I knew I shouldn't probably ride over those down this hill and I wrecked. I wreck a lot when I mountain bike <laughs> even on intermediate trails. It's sad. So there's six trails, uh, two that are relatively easy, the boulevard and uh, Toy Box Hill and then there's a couple of intermediate trails I'm actually doing right now. I'm doing the Hookman Hill Trail which is one of the longer trails in the in the little system here and then there's hop project and the wabash cannonball and then there's one called humdinger which is way out at the bottom here and it is it's a black diamond i rarely go on that one <laughs> you got to know your skills all right so i'm gonna <laughs> that was about five miles about 35 minutes and that was the hookman hill trail my bike is acting funky it's not shifting correctly so i'm gonna punt on the rest of this and just take it to the bike shop since I've already wrecked as well <laughs> done enough damage for today I think I broke my GoPro the front screen's not working anymore it's a disaster but don't let that stop you from coming out here it's fun it's a fun little uh, mountain bike trail and relatively new to Percy Warner that uh, I don't know how many years it's been here but it's been within probably 10 years that they put it in and it's it's a pretty fun bike trail. We ride this all the time. And then there is all kind of other things you can do. There's horseback riding. There's an equestrian center. There's two golf courses that kind of bookend the park. And there's dog parks. A lot of things to do. Mm -hmm.